Hello, my name is Gary Smith. This short video accompanies our blog post, Is Your Sales Funnel Big Enough to Meet Your Revenue Target? Many managers that use Salesforce still don't get the visibility that they need to provide a definitive answer to that question. For sure, they have dashboards set up that give visibility of sales performance in the sales pipeline, but they still don't really know whether they have enough pipeline of the right type in order to meet their sales target this month, next month, this quarter, this year, and so on. But there is a way to provide a robust answer to those questions in Salesforce, and that's what I'm going to show you now. So the starting point is this new tab, Monthly Sales Target, and we can see that this record of the monthly sales target is for the salesperson, Michael Watson, and it's for April 2015. And we can see that for this month, Michael's target is £40,000. If you work in dollars or a different currency, that's fine. It would just be in that currency. So before we go into the other metrics, let's look at the opportunities that are related to this target. So here we have some of Michael's opportunities. They're linked to the target for April 2015 because they all have a close date that falls in April 2015. We can see the opportunity stage, the amount, the probability, and the expected amount. So the expected amount is the total amount multiplied by the probability of the opportunity. We can see that we've got one, one opportunity, so the expected amount in that case is 100% of the amount. We've got a number of open deals, the deals that are in the funnel. We've even got one closed lost opportunity associated with this target. That is a zero expected. So the value of these opportunities rolls up to the monthly sales target. We can see that Michael has £15,000 worth of one opportunities. That's the first one that we looked at. He has £38,000 worth of total funnel and just under £19,000 of weighted funnel. So his total expected revenue is £33,700, which isn't enough to meet his sales target. And that shortfall is depicted in the dynamic chart that's embedded into the page. On the right-hand side of the page, we have some percentages that show the value of the opportunities, the value of the weighted funnel against his target. And we can see that Michael's expected target achievement is 84%. The chart underneath that shows the different opportunity stages of the funnel. We can see that there are some in negotiation, some in proposal made, and some in investigation. So we have to be confident that those deals are indeed going to close in April 2015. So that's what it looks like for an individual salesperson. How do we roll that information up to the team or to the company level and get a picture of whether our sales funnel is big enough at the company level to meet our revenue target? Well, here's what it looks like on the dashboard. Let's say we're in April 2015. We can see that we achieved our target for January, February and March. We've got a shortfall in April and May, but June looks okay. Looks like we've got enough funnel to meet our sales target in June. And if we drill down to the underlying report, we can see where that shortfall is in April and May. So it's a powerful way of getting a detailed view of whether our sales funnel is big enough and whether it's the right type to meet our sales target. So that's me, Gary Smith. If you go to our website, you'll find there's lots more blog posts on using Salesforce to manage the sales team, manage the sales pipeline and get benefits from your Salesforce licenses. Of course, you can Follow me on Twitter and LinkedIn. Just one final thing. If you think this video has been helpful, if you think it's a good video, we would be delighted if you give it a plus or you share it on the social media channel of your choice. That would really help us to spread the word. So thank you very much for now. I'll see you on the next video.